Hey guys, it's Liz, and today I'm here with my friend Izzy. You might remember her from our blindfolded makeup challenge. Oh God. <laughs> and today we are going to be giving you guys advice for your freshman year of high school. So, let's get on into it. Then I see you, you're walking across the campus, go professor study. So big, the school is giant. Like, school, I tried to get the ceramics. It's downstairs. I was looking around downstairs for my ceramics class. It's downstairs. Stumbled in, and they all laughed at me. So we split our advice up into like three categories, things you should do before school starts, things you should do on the first day of school or keep in mind for the first day of school, and then things that you should just keep in mind as the year goes on. And yeah, I don't know, I hope this is helpful. I came from a private elementary and middle school, while Izzy came from a public elementary and middle school, so we have kind of two different perspectives on it. So. I think this will go really well. So let's start out with things that you should do in the summer to kind of prepare for your first year in high school. All right, so you're gonna wanna get all the supplies that you really need. What I think gets you really in the mindset of school is like getting your agenda. Like we really like yeah. it. I mean, I liked like, I like Lily Pulitzer, so I always get like a nice little Lily agenda. And that always makes me get really excited and so I'm ready to like write my homework down and stuff like that. And just getting like really good supplies, like a nice um, five subject notebook, uh, two binders if your school has like green days or Yeah, for days. us we have red days and blue days. Yeah. So a lot of times you either have like a four by four or just every day you have your seven or eight classes. Mm -hmm. We have four classes a day, and so, so each day we have a different yeah. set of books. So like what I normally do, actually like for my freshman and sophomore year, I had a notebook and a folder for each day, but this past year I switched to just, I think I just had a binder mm -hmm. for both days. And a lot of times, once you get into high school, they don't always provide a list of things that you need. Um, you kind of just go in and then on the first day of school yeah. they give you the list of things that you need. So I would just, first day of school, come with like paper, like a notebook and some pencils. Yes. Go to open house. Absolutely. It like, it makes you, you might think that it sounds really nerdy or whatever, but open house is such a good idea. I think I was, was I out of town? I think I was out of town or something for my open house and if my brother hadn't gone to the same high school four years before, I would have had no idea where anything yeah. is. Pick up a map where you are when you go to your open house and it has all the rooms on it and then when you get your schedule in the mail, highlight all the rooms and then mm -hmm. go through it in your and brain. And number them. Like yeah. what I did is I numbered them in the order that I would have to go mm -hmm. to them and I kind of walked it out. And even if you can't go to open house, I'm sure you can find some time. Just go to the school yeah. and find out where your classes are That's before it starts. Do. Once you get your schedule, usually you get it like a month or a couple weeks before school starts, post it on Facebook or like Instagram yeah. or something and find out what friends you have in your classes. Also, a lot of times at the last week of like eighth grade or whatever, they'll give you your summer homework assignments that you might have for high school. A lot of times they don't. And so what you need to do is go on your high school's website and find out what summer assignments you have because you will have English and possibly history summer homework to do and that yeah. yeah and for you to be prepared for the first day of school you need to get that done and then the last thing for like preparing for your freshman year is to look into fall sports if you want to do fall sports they start before school starts so like I do cross country I had to start going to practices like I think two or three weeks before school actually started. So if you're interested in like basketball, volleyball, what other ones are there? Cross country, um, uh, football. Yeah, football. Dance, uh, I think dance, dance team. team, I think holds, like some of them dance hold team tryouts. waits till school yeah. starts. Some of them do Which is not a bad, wait until advice. school yeah. starts, but I know like definitely dance team and cross country yeah. and football, like those start in the summer. So if you wanna get into those, you need to go look on your school's website and figure that out. Definitely. So the first day of school. I have this problem, but I guess other people don't. You have to get there early. You have to get there at least 30 minutes early. Don't get there too early, because then, I mean, I know people who have gotten there before the administration got Yeah. <laughs> that's just not good. Make plans to meet up with friends. Yeah. Make I'll a definitely. plan to meet up with friends, and you should go to your open house, so then you know where you should meet up with your friends. Go to your classes like 10 minutes before class starts. I always wait till the last minute, and even last year, I was late to my first class of the day, which was... She was also late to physics a lot. I am a late person, and then you end up getting a bad seat, not next to your friends. So just go to your class, like on the first day of school, 
just like don't socialize too much. Just go yeah. to your classes so that way you can everyone get Everyone understands. Seat. Yeah. And also a thing that everyone understands is being new in your new school. Yeah. Everyone understands it. Everyone knows that you don't know exactly where your class is the first day of school and that's totally fine. I actually have a video on outfit ideas for the first day of school that I literally filmed it's gonna be two years ago now and it is so embarrassing but if you want some ideas and you want to hear me like blab on about me thinking I know Why what fashion I? is <laughs> you can watch that or maybe I'll film an updated one for this year. Just nice either shorts, jeans, cute top, Sandals. I yeah. don't know. That's. I mean, I've worn dresses before, and that's totally fine. Like I wore a dress yeah. my junior year and my freshman year, and that was. I did yeah. fine with them. Just, I'm a dress person, so I'm wearing a dress right now. Yeah. Just wear what you're gonna be comfortable. Yeah. With. Like choose your favorite outfit and wear that. Yeah. Like don't don't think that you have to impress anyone. Although I definitely remember what I wore freshman and sophomore first day of school. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what I wore last year because I'm pretty sure I literally woke up in the morning. I was like. I hate school yeah. <laughs> and I just like grabbed a shirt and some shorts and I just like left I was like whatever I don't care <laughs> you have to be yourself yeah you're not trying to impress anyone everyone's nervous because everyone is coming from a different school like for us there's so many there's like four different schools coming into our high school yeah. I came in with like five I, I think maybe it was close to 10 other people from my school and a school that has like what 1800 kids something yeah. like that and so my first day of school was so nerve-wracking. It was, mm -hmm. it was terrifying because the school was so giant and I didn't know anybody. I didn't know anyone and it was so scary. And I have like a couple pieces of advice. First, figure out where your first class is and just go straight there. Um, first day of school, you're gonna have lunch. And so at our school, we have four different lunches. We have first lunch, second lunch, and third lunch. And you don't know which lunch you're you gonna have. You don't know have. which one you're gonna have. So in that class, when the bell, I don't know how lunch works at other schools, but I'm pretty sure, I mean, you go to lunch. And you go to lunch with the people that are in your class, usually. And so make a friend with somebody in that class and say, hey, do you wanna sit together at lunch? Luckily for me, I knew a girl, Kate, in my first, mm -hmm. yeah, I had Kate in my biology class. Love so we Kate. were able to sit together and then, Kate knew somebody else in another class, so then we all found a table at lunch, and then mm -hmm. that's actually how I made one of my closest friends, Rachel, because we sat together on the first day of school. So, don't be afraid to ask people, hey, do you want to sit together, or hey, mm -hmm. do you want, when's your next class, do you want to walk to that class together? Our last, like, area of expertise, not expertise, advice is just throughout the school year, Okay, just quickly, take your classes seriously. Yes. You want to get A's your freshman year because you want those A's to help your GPA because sophomore and junior year, your classes are going to get tougher and you're going to wish that you had gotten straight A's freshman year. It's not difficult to do. Just study, do your homework, stay ahead of the game. Just don't procrastinate. Freshman year, easy. Sophomore year, kind of easy. easy. It's like whatever. Junior, junior year, hell. <laughs> so hard. So it's hard. so hard. <laughs> Uh, senior year is going to be all applications, yeah. all making sure that your college is still like you, and saying goodbye to people. Yeah. Also, get involved, whether it's sports, clubs, other activities. Drama. There's so many clubs. Yeah, we're both involved in drama. I'm not, I don't actually act, but in drama you can do hair and makeup and costuming and behind she the scenes. She once held my hair for four hours straight. Yeah. Izzy acts, I do the hair. It works out so well. Um, there's so many sports, there's so oh my many goodness. clubs. There's so many things for you to do. If you have no idea what club to do, go do Key Club. We have weird, yeah, we have weird club. clubs. We have a Lumberjack Club. Lumberjack Club. And don't be afraid to just show up. Just literally just show up to a club event and they'll be like, oh, hey. And do what you want to do. Yeah. Don't make, don't let anyone tell you what to do. Don't be afraid to go talk to your guidance counselor. If you have any issues at all, Liz, they're there for Liz you. Liz has fights with her guidance counselor on a daily basis. Like, no, it's, I it's, don't. <laughs> Me and my guidance counselor, we're best friends. He, he gets me. I really <laughs> hope you guys found this video helpful, and I'm going to be doing one for junior, or for his sophomore year and junior year as well, so go ahead and subscribe if you want to see this, or see those, and more back-to-school videos. So, good luck with your freshman year. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment down below, and I will answer them, or just message me. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye.